Okay, so the first thing with the chapter, and it's not really that important or anything, but I do want to mention it, because I've been talking about this for a while, pretty much since Kaido was first introduced, is that his size, just like all of the other massive people in white uh, in One Piece, are is super inconsistent. Like, Whitebeard, that's pretty yeah. perfect. I mean, the first time we see Whitebeard, he was probably all over 100 feet tall, and that just did not pan out at all. And Kaido looked even taller than that, and now he looks about the same size as Whitebeard was in Marine Ford. So, yeah, I, I was a little disappointed, honestly. I uh, I think Oda just in he certain just, frames. He's just insane. I mean, he just gets he, he likes to make dramatic frames. I know sometimes. he just gets really excited about these characters, and he's like, "All right, well, we need to be more real." I mean, it's kind of a good thing. I'm disappointed that he's not super big because it was really cool when he was first introduced. But at the same time, I've been wondering. Like, if it would look kind of stupid when he's fighting somebody around Luffy's size. So, him being yeah. smaller is good for that reason. I mean, it already looks a little awkward when Luffy fights Dofi. So, when you have Kaido, who's like triple the size of Dofi, yeah, we need him to be yeah, as small true. as possible. Yeah, he does kind of, like, it was kind of like that with the Katakuri fight, too. Oh, my God. I honestly don't even know how that went over so well. It really was, like, the framing of the panels, I think, that made it so possible. Right, like Katakuri was always like in the background, or somebody was, I guess, and it made the size gap not as relevant. But right. yeah, that's not really that important. I just thought that that no, was it's... worth mentioning because I talk about it all the time. So yeah. then, Odin and Kid are confirmed to have conquerors hockey. I didn't even think I, I figured Odin probably could, but I didn't even consider that Kid would at all. So this is pretty huge. You didn't. I I mean I wouldn't well, think like it, was, it wasn't no. possible. I think it was highly likely that other, at least another supernova has conquerors hockey. So I think, it will, okay, but Zoro's not confirmed. And right. I mean, if you think about all the supernovas, kids would probably have been my guess. Yeah, that would be the second person for sure. Just based on his aspirations and his willpower and whatnot, he's not like. A little bitch that just did Kaido's doing, because he got right his, like Hawkins and a poo. Yeah, that's so lame. Yeah, I thought yeah, a poo they're... was really cool, but nah, lame. Yeah, well, I mean, Kaido said, you know, put them in there till their willpower breaks. So it's possible that maybe a poo was in the in jail for a while till he finally gave up with it or whatever. But <sighs> I think Kaido was waiting a while on Luffy and Kid. It's like how long did it really take them though? And like, they, aren't they kind of high look. ranking already? To have been, like, just recently in jail? Well, I think Hawkins probably just went over right just away. instantly? Okay. I mean, I'm sure he calculated his odds and whatnot. It's like, yeah, okay. All right, well, here's what we got to do. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's that's pretty likely now that you put it that way. Yeah. But we'll I mean, probably find out more when we when Apu actually shows up. I, I, I know for a fact, well, I guess we might not, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we're going to get to see the scene where Kid uses Conqueror's Hockey for the first time, or at least with Kaido, and he sees it, and I'm pretty excited for that. I'm anticipating it. I wonder what it would look like if Luffy and Kid both used Conqueror's Hockey at the same time, like, together. Like, we've seen Conqueror's Hockey, two people using it against each other, but we've never seen two people use it, like, in, like, uh, like on the same team. You know what I mean? Right. Well, as far as we've seen in the anime, when they clash, it turns purple. We haven't right. seen that with Katakuri yet, but maybe we will. So maybe if people use it as a team together, it'll be like rainbow colored. Oh, you think so? I think I think it's a good possibility. It would be really cool. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, you, you like that idea? Yeah. I, I mean, if Dofi can make his strings rainbow, maybe he was just like infusing Conqueror's hockey or something. Well, I mean, what would I mean? You think it's possible that there's a way to combine the effects? Of Probably not. That'd be way too Conqueror's hockey. Well, I mean, what if they were able to combine their Conqueror's hockey and it somehow weakens Kaido? Well, if my theory of how Conqueror's hockey works is true, and then you can combine them, that'd be pretty insane. That would be yeah. huge. I would Something enjoy that. Plan, I think. Yeah, that would sure. be cool. I think we're gonna get. There's enough Conqueror's Hockey users around in this arc that we're going to get some more information about it, I think. Right. So right now, who, how many is it right now? Three? 
plus Big Mom's coming. Um, we have Luke. What, are we including Kaido? Mm-hmm. He's not confirmed, you know, right? Yeah, but okay. I mean, yeah, no, you don't have to tell me. But yeah, well, okay. So that's true. Con- Conquerors hockey actually could play an even bigger, you know, factor into this than we imagined because of the next point on my list: the sea stone nails that Hawkins was using. If there's, mm-hmm. so, especially because it seems that Law was able to get out of there despite having that in him. So it, it might right. just nullify your devil fruit abilities and not completely drain you like we've seen in the past from sea stone because it's just mm-hmm. like a tiny nail and if that's the case i mean we could be seeing like a lack of devil fruit use from some people which would be interesting right yeah i think oda's been a little bit inconsistent with sea stone mm-hmm. for sure over the course of the entire story like back in, i think alabasta was when we were introduced to it and like when they were in the cage in crocodile's cage right mm-hmm. at least in the anime that's what happened I didn't yeah, read the manga. Or we, he was grabbing like, the when they grabbed bars, the like yeah. they couldn't couldn't even yeah, stand up. True. Now like that is then, true. Yeah, ever since like Marine Ford, we've seen Ace is able to walk and stuff while he was wearing them. And right now, Luffy, true. I'm assuming these stone handcuffs, and they're still able to and Robin move and walk. Yeah, that is so. Yeah, mm-hmm. it seems like he's taken it more of a direction that it just nullifies the Devil Fruit and not so much like completely. Which is Stop probably you. how it should be. I right. Mean, I, I would I would say that, you know, the thing in Alabasta is just the development stages of Devil Fruits, and then he's like, okay, well, hang on, this is a little over the top. Uh, I mean, you problems. definitely you definitely can't fight with it, though, but I think... Yeah, that seems reasonable. I wonder if it depends, too, because Law just had a nail in him, so right. maybe he had a little bit more ability to move, but he definitely couldn't fight, so he, you know, he kind of dipped out of there. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Yeah. After that, we do get into the Straw Hats being okay, which was obvious. I mean, apparently there were some people that thought they were dead, but all right. I guess they're not, so there you go, guys. Um, I'm I'm really not entirely clear on what happened. Like, I get that they didn't take the hit because they were in a hole, and that hole was supposedly created by the ninja and her mature fruit. Right. But that was, I, yeah, that was like specifically stated, right? But in uh, she, she explained that her fruit has the ability to make things rot. But I don't really see how that would affect a mountain. So I'm hoping we get a little bit more on that, like why there's just a giant hole. I mean, I I think you could think of it more as like a decay ability, and with like it kind of just causes natural stuff to just crumble. Okay, if that if if that makes it makes sense, I mean that's definitely what happened. I don't think it there's made, just the name of the fruit and everything made it seem to me that like it could only affect like I don't know living things, but um, maybe not. Yeah. I don't know. Well, she said it's capable of maturing the things of this world. So I right. mean, right? What does that mean only, exactly? I would assume it only affects things that are capable of maturing, like organic, right? Stuff like you know. I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, it maybe seems like a pretty good fruit. Okay, if I it's think. even like a rock or something like that. But. So maybe then, uh, the complete opposite, maybe it doesn't even affect living things. Well, okay, wait. So it definitely is a, is a double fruit, right? Like, well, every time she the said mature, release. mature juice, right. right? Yeah. Or something like that. I mean, so yeah. Okay. I, I, I mean, like, how could it not So be? we're thinking that hers is a double fruit and Rizos is a double fruit also. Are we thinking Rise was a devil fruit? I think so. What does he do exactly? Um, he had like all those weird like teleporting and cloning abilities. Right. That he was so that's like too. It just seems like too much for one devil fruit. Okay, we're talking about Oda here. I know we are. Ugh. I mean, we have people like Sugar that exist, so there's really no. But such like, it, it has a theme where like, what does cloning and teleporting have to do with anything? I mean, I assume that Oda could find a way to wrap that together. You really think that's a double fruit? I, I, I never I even mean, thought about again, that. Again, look at Sugar. I, I mean, if I told you those abilities, you, you would say there's no theme also. I, I guess, yeah. I definitely don't know why she doesn't age. That's really, really strange. Yeah. But, okay. I guess we'll just have to see more on but, that. But Yeah, I think, well, I guess definitely with um, 
Shino. That wait, is that her name? A Shino? Shinobu, I think, but she called her Shino Chan. Doesn't Shino mean death? No, she nay. Oh. Or she knew would actually be death, but if you're using it like as a command, it'd be she nay. Okay. But that's like, kind of close. De- yeah, that's, well. I wonder if that's well, related. Well, because she, her, I mean, she, if she's, you know, she's got the mature, mature I mean, view. It, so. Ninja in Japanese is Shinobi, and her name oh. is Shinobu. Okay, that's definitely so, it, though. Yeah, that, I don't know why it's a boo, but... I mean, it has to, that has to be what we're talking about here. Boo is like, that's what um, Kinemon said a lot before. I'm thinking that's like a Wano yeah. thing or whatever. So then, I would like to mention that once again we see the term All Star come up in this chapter, and they were they were talking about Luffy, and they said they expected him to be at least as big as an All Star, meaning that. There's more than one of these things, okay? When I brought up the point that maybe Jack was demoted to All-Star, people were just saying, no, he's a Calamity, and, like, that's, like, his title as a Calamity or something, which doesn't make any sense because he's Jack the Drought. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, like, there's clearly multiple of these All-Stars, and they're large, like Jack. So I'm thinking that Jack got demoted. I mean, hello? Yeah, it does seem more likely now. Like... I think yeah, I think I agree, oh, dude. And if he gets demoted, I mean that like confirms X Drake, right? Like, come on, what what else? What else? Would uh, be? Yeah, honestly, it, it'd, it'd make so a lot juicy. Of sense. Oh, they just keep dropping this all. I feel like Oda doesn't even know what he's doing, saying this all star shit. Like he doesn't even know how much this is hurting me. And well, if that one. is the case, that Jack is demoted and X Drake is now a calamity. That does m- probably mean that the other two calamities are king and queen, though. You do realize that, right? Kaido wouldn't be king. I'm the one that made that claim, yes. I thought you were the one that said Kaido's king. Oh, yes. Is that not what you said? I'm, yeah, I'm saying the other two calamities are king and queen. I Almost guess that's... Yeah, or, that is true. But, that, I mean, that's fine with me. I mean, yeah. that that only was, like, fitting the narrative. I didn't expect Jack to get prom- demoted. But now that he is, like, okay, there can be a king, too. That's fine. I also think, by the way, this is kind of random in the middle of this review, but I think that Queen might be Queena. Uh, I mean... I'm not buying that. It seems kind of likely that she's going to come back at some point. And the names are really similar. It's not, like, that crazy, but it is in the back of my mind a lot. Okay, you know we've seen um, the outlines of the calamities, right? I know they do look male. If that's they what look you're saying. nothing like Kuina. Okay, Cracker doesn't look like his silhouette either. Okay, that's but I mean, come I, on. dude, just what if what if she was in a hybrid form? You're just being ridiculous now. I'm being. You really think it's a zero percent chance? Yeah. Well, well, okay. Hello. I know. I L- think look it's at possible. That. Dude. Okay, I'm looking at I'm looking at the silhouettes right now. The one on the right. I mean, if she's a devil fruit devil. user, and then she'd have to be wearing a helmet with that the spiky guy in the middle. Yeah. But no, dude, that per, that guy's massive though. He's huge shoulders and armor on. Dude, that's just devil. Th- it doesn't make any sense. Zone devil fruits. No. Prehistoric. Have you seen Jack? Not, His not mammoth a form. Not a chance. Kuina. Is a calamity. You're Dude, just being ridiculous. I mean, she's come, she has to come back at some point. It's got to be Wano and Queen. I don't think so. Oh. No. All right, we'll, we'll skip Zero over percent. that, I guess. You'll see. No, not really. I don't really believe that. I just think it's like a possibility. But, I okay. think people in the comments will agree with me okay. on this one. We'll see. We, we will see. Guys in the comment, cast your vote on that one, okay? Because okay. they're, they're going to vote for me, I'm telling you. Okay, the thing in the cage now that right. has to be fed a poisonous thing. fish with a right thing. I mean, I think it's a human. Well, I think it doesn't have to be fed poisonous fish. No, I just like, being not fed like and they just are like, okay. It's being, it is being fed poisonous fish, yes. And, right. it, and poison is not affecting it. Right, yeah. It's like Luffy or Zoro. It's like it's stomach ache. And right, so. I think it's a human again. I mean. Yeah, it seems like it. It does seem like it, they, yeah. just, they aren't aware of what's in there. I thought it was Kid originally. 
Mm -mm. But that seems yeah. to not be the case. Yeah, we can see the outline a little bit in the panel where it's spitting the fishbone. And definitely looks like my, a person. My first thought would be that it is um one of the other two samurai that they're looking Kenny for brought up. Yeah. But if you look at the silhouettes of the other two, then it this the, the shapes don't really match. Except for in the silhouettes um, of the other two samurai, there's one that looks like he might, he or she might be wearing a straw hat, like the kind, um, like the kind that Ace made. Oh wow, um, you think so? So it kind of looks like that. Uh, um, I don't know, but I guess we'll have to see. We, we really don't have. I, yeah, I think you're right. That's one of the samurai. I think that that is the most likely scenario as far as we can tell. But that, yeah. speaking of cages, the last thing I want to get to is Kid and Luffy are in the same cage now. I mean, come on, this is really exciting. What's going to go is, on in there? Seems like a terrible idea on oh, Kaido's yeah. part to put them together. Especially considering the moment that Luffy gets thrown in there. They say, in unison, you'll pay for this, Kaido. I, I, mean, I mean, come on, like... Uh, uh, He's just just... severely underestimating them, as does every antagonist in One Piece. But just, I think the supernovas in general are just getting completely underestimated. Yeah, I mean, kind I mean, of rightfully so. Like, well, it's it's, it's clear that shot. they don't they don't. Yeah, I mean, it's clear that they don't stand a chance individually against the Yonko. But I mean, they've been teaming up left and right, like. Are they going to conquer Taki their way out of there? Is that how this is going to go that's, down? I mean, that's what I'm... I don't know. Are they going to use the combined know. power? Well, I mean, you would assume that you can probably use Conqueror's Hockey while Sea Stone is on, right? Like, I can't imagine how that would be effective against Hockey. Yeah. But depending how much energy they lose, maybe then they can't use it, but... Yeah... Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like they're just not even being sapped of energy. Well, another thing I noticed with Kid is he looks still. It's been like two years, and he's still he's like bleeding and he's missing teeth. Like, it, do they just go in there and beat the shit out of him every day or something? Like, well, I mean, teeth don't grow back unless you're Luffy or Brock. Okay, but if you look at the panel, like he's got blood all over. Yeah, his eyes. They like probably do. Shit. I mean, why? Well, they it, did say it, that they're gonna like break their will. I know. So, like, so, are they yeah, just they regularly go in there and beat the shit out of them? Probably. I, I mean, I don't want to know what's going to happen when Kid gets oh out of that game. Oh, my God. He is going to be on a warpath. Seriously? Oh, man. I, I'm actually really excited to see more from Kid because I didn't like him at first as a character just because of his unnecessary arrogance. But now that he's kind of been put in his place a little bit, I, I think that he's going to end up being one of my favorite supernovas. So I'm excited. Yeah. I, mean, he's I guess we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, he does have Conqueror Saki. I wonder... That's insane. Well, yeah, that's... Yeah. So yeah. And that pretty much that. covers everything in this chapter. Oh, except uh, the last part you wanted to talk about with whether or not this is going to be in five parts. Oh, yeah. I, well, I don't really know. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just... It seems that that was the first act, you know, based on the right. last panel. That's pretty fair to assume. That Otis and I just Lily, insane Lily says that. Man, right. <laughs> so, I, I guess, you know, a lot of... Like, in Western plays and theater and whatnot, there's usually three acts. You mean Eastern? No. Western. There's usually three. Oh, oh are you talking about Western? There's yeah. three. So... A lot of people thought there would be three, but Spooky tweeted that today, and then some people were correct him in the comments, like, well, in Eastern, there's usually five. And apparently the fifth one, it, it, Teching was tweeting about this too, or apparently the third one is where, like, the, mo like, the what the hell is going on right now is going to happen. Like, just some crazy information or something. Just a complete game changer. Right. So, I mean, I, well, I feel like the first act was pretty good. And if the third one's supposed to be the best, geez. I'm pumped. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll see. I, I think act two should probably 
have less fighting action. It should be I more think of a we'll, build up for sure. Yeah, more of a build up, and I think this will be the act where we get to see a lot of Usopp, Robin, Frankie. Yeah, we and, didn't get to it all really. Because we we haven't really, we don't really know what's going on there. This will probably just be more Kinemon gathering resources, recruiting Ashura Doji, and possibly the others. Because we did see that in this chapter, Kinemon did find Shoot Morrow, and it is confirmed that he's Ashura Doji. And we did get to see Frankie, Usopp, and Robin. Right. Dispensing pure comedy gold. So. So also, I do want to mention, if this is five acts, I think up until this point, we've had, uh, I believe, 16 chapters of Wano. And obviously, all the acts won't be exactly the same. But if they're close... seven was the last Reverie one, right? Uh, I think... Let's see, what chapter was Seppuku? Seppuku was, was 909. 908 was Reverie Begins, 907 was The Empty Throne. Okay. So I think Seppuku was the first one, right? That and then 910 yeah, was on Zoro one. just goes ham out of nowhere. Right. Right. That was so awesome. <laughs> Sorry, Kenny <Kenimon. laughs> yeah. So, so that So the first act took about 16 chapters, which would, obviously in five acts, if they're all the same, would be 80, but I'm guessing we're probably looking more like 90 to 100 yeah th- i mean this is one that those are the expectations going in so yeah so i'd say we're right on pace for those estimates right so i'm looking forward to it i am so looking forward to it. way to go here right it's had so much action so far it really is disturbing that we're gonna have a break next week but i mean it's, what do you expect well it's you know just, it's the end of the has, first yeah it was that was like four weeks i think so but I, I will say despite how crazy the action has been it is following typical Oda style of splitting up the straw hats in the arc, Seriously, and then so insane. You know, like he does that all the time. So now Luffy's separate, Zoro, se- pretty much everyone's separated except for the group that's at Odin's castle, and right. they, and that's just how it tends to go. They all deal with their separate shit, then meet up and resolve the story. So absolutely, at least you know, everything seems to be at least as we would expect in terms of plot structure. Right, and when we have a solid plot structure like that as we've seen in one piece things go quite well so i mean un- unless you know you take half of the group and you don't just remove them from the rest you take them to an entirely different island and don't show them at all aka dress rosa which was still yeah. a fantastic arc but that was a little weird so yeah i think uh we pretty much covered everything for this chapter really good yeah. again thank you mikey for joining me hopefully you will do this with me more in the future the fans are dying to hear more from you all right i'll come back for more i guess all righty thank you mikey and thank you everyone for watching have a good day guys